All right, I'm going to do another uh, walkthrough of uh, some textures in Cinema 4D and what happens when you export them out as a GLTF and load them into 3JS. Um, I just did some work here. Uh, so I have this right here. So I have, let me just walk you through this stuff here. So I basically have a sphere. Um, so I have a sphere here and uh, I've upped the uh, number of segments, changed it to octahedron, I added a taper in there which is um, up here, it's one of the uh, deformers, and then I added a subdivision surface or a hypernerb as they used to be called, In um, I put that under there to subdivide it. Uh, then I added it into a cloner and created this shape. But what I did was, um, let me undo all this. So I basically, okay. So I, what I have here are um, five textures and I put one of each on um, inside this cloner. And then what I did is I created that, I created four cloners and then each one of these has, um, like this one for example has, uh, let me just open one of these up. So every one of these materials um, has just a color channel. These all have the same blue, same red, same white, and same black color channels. Brightness, all brightness 100. Um, and then reflectance, they all have, I've removed the, um, default uh, reflectance channel and added basically just one single reflectance um, legacy channel. Again, they're all fairly similar, but this is all I've done here. So, um, And then what I've done, the only difference here is this roughness channel. So if this, this is set to zero, you'll see that zero, the names 25, 50, 75, and 100. And um, so I've done this for the blue channels, the red, the white, and the black, or instead of the layers, blue, red, white, and black. And then um, each one of these, uh, uh, this column, these are all 0, 25, 50, 75, 100. So, so that's what I've done here. And then additionally, I created this one. Now this is the same exact file, but I've thrown on these normal maps on each one of these. So um this has basically everything's the exact same except that i've added a normal map in here again all defaults uh some of these are a little bit different as you can see the zero 25 are actually looks like the same 50 and 75 i believe it's the same and then 100 is uh a, a unique one too um and these are from let me pull up, uh, i'll give the guy a shout out this time 3d textures not me um He's got a ton of these, they're all free, you can support it on Patreon. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's what I have here. I've exported that out, and then I've exported both of them out um, here as component and component B. So let's load those in and see what happens. So this is component B. Uh, let me pull this up like so, okay. So this is it, and let's look here. So this is with zero, and um, with no with no roughness, and you can see they're all very smooth. Black. Notice the big difference here is there's nothing reflecting off that, um, but you do have the reflection of the HDR image there. Um, and then this is now 25 here. Again, the black's really cool with this uh, reflection, but it's just a completely different, you know, result. Um, uh, this 50 is beautiful, actually, on this black. Um, that, that, that light is really nice right there. It'd be cool to do like a black on black kind of model. Um, and then 75 and 100, and now at 100, you see this is just, just jet black. Um, the white is super nice and smooth. Uh, um, and even 
but you can see a big difference between you know these two. This is 100% roughness. This is 0% roughness, and you see a huge difference. And then if I change some of this, like let's change for this is with a different HDR image. Um, again, you can kind of see maybe by these two, the, the differences there, right? Um, let's do a couple more here. Uh, it's a really intense HDR. Uh, but notice you on black, um, you net 100%, like nothing, there's no light on this thing. It's just really interesting. And then let's let's go back to cloud three. Save that. Change this to let's bump this up to like there. So these are all blown out, but for the black color, uh, black texture, again, it's beautiful. I really liked this the, the way this is reflecting off. Um, and that's it. About twenty five percent. Fifty percent. Fifty percent. That's beautiful. I really like that. Seventy-five percent here. Um, almost nothing, but you can see there's a little bit of separation there. And then hundred percent is just black, which is funny, even at a brighter exposure. Like that'd be like super bright. And this is, these are all unusably blown out and black is still just solid. Anyway, interesting. So that's that. Uh, change that back to there. Now I'm going to load in this. Uh, it was um, B. Now this one has the normal maps on it. OK, beautiful. Again, this, this is really cool, this effect. And, and the difference, again, between normal maps and normal maps visually distort the textures and create the illusion of uh, uh, depth. It, it, it moves the pixels um, in an X, Y, or Z position based on the RGB value of a normal map. Um, and again, if you look, if you don't know what normal maps are, um, this color, you've seen them before. It's uh, Here's one, for example. So the red, green, and blue will push them in different directions and create the illusion of, of depth, but without any modeling. Um, and so yeah, so all of these uh, you know, shapes have the exact same polygons, but the difference here is just done. It's just a, basically a trick. But if you notice, like, look at the light reflecting off these. You know, like, look at this highlight on, on these bumps that highlight is changing. So it looks, again, it visually feels like it's a cool, you know, like it's giving, like it's been modeled, but there's just no expense of, 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 of you know, additional geometry. So anyway, but yeah, so here is zero. Um, I need to make this one bigger. So refresh this. So this is, um, it's hard to even tell which is which, but it looks like, yeah, this is zero, it's 25. 50, 75, and 100. And um, you see a lot of that aliasing there. I think there's things settings. I, I just don't have this set, but it's also because it's really detailed, um, uh, the texture. So, But yeah, you can see the difference here. And again, on the black, big difference here is this black. So this one, um, you know, that's what it looks like. Uh, with white and with black textures, there's quite a difference there. Um, 25%, 50%, again, it's beautiful in there. I love that 50%. Yeah. You'll see more of that on something I build. And then 75% uh, is almost entirely gone. And then 100%, uh, which is again solid black, even with the, even with the uh, normal map on there. Anyway. So this gives a good example of, of kind of uh, some of the differences here on this. Again, this reflections. This, uh, geez, sorry, hold on. And, and yeah, so the only difference here is this reflectance channel 
and the roughness uh, parameter here uh, is is uh, affected, you know, is changing on all these. And I did notice that if you, on the color channel, if you bump this all the way down, the brightness down, uh, it actually also affects the this roughness channel and kind of eliminates the roughness channel uh, once you drop down to zero. Um, I don't have a demo of that right now. I, I recorded another video and spent a ton of time debugging it. But anyway, hopefully this helps and uh, gives you more of an idea of uh, how to approach uh, creating textures in uh, 40. Actually, hold on. One other thing I'll change real quick. Let me just show you what this looks like with different. Uh, let me do this one here. Uh, let me just show you this real quick. So another, it looks like with a brighter uh, light. Um, yeah, okay, so that's some weirdness happening there. There we go. And then I'll do one more. Um, it's four. And I'll bump this up to one, two. That's kind of studio lighting here. Um, and some of these are really nice. Um, you know, I get a kick out of that black just being totally black, but uh, yeah, so all right, I think that's probably good. Thanks for watching.